a bit of sad news, news on the plot this week. If, if any of you mm. watching have been to the jazz farm over the years, you'll know, uh, you'll remember <coughs> our stalwart dog, Zog the dog. He, he was 15 years old until this morning and um, he's gone to the great quantum theory yeah. wormhole in the sky today. We had, to, we had to put him down, we gave him an injection because it was just too much now. He was going around in circles and he, we think he'd had a stroke and we were just going to start throwing money into painkillers. So we made the decision, which was tough, man. Yeah, you don't have to get attached to your bloody animals, yeah. you really do. The so, easy decisions are seldom the right decisions. Yeah, well, we, we, you, you know, you've got to be pragmatic and it's just so long, I'm so out of practice with them um, putting a dog down, basically. We've done it before, but it's a lot, we've had this long, long thing. And this was, Myrtle bought this dog while I was on a movie, <coughs> months into our, there he is. There's my favourite picture. He's on Instagram with that picture on the left, and he's got hundreds and hundreds of likes for that one. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And uh, an epic clean bong. He always kept an epic clean bong. <laughs> yeah. And the reason that we tell you all of this is he has done more shows than we have because he sat here, <coughs> where he lay here, and his claim to fame is he fell asleep during every single one of them. Yeah. He was here for every show, and he missed the lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, so if you listen carefully on, on some of them, probably ninety percent, you can hear him snoring gently in the background. Yeah, he was our number shows. one fan, and I think we were all a big fan of Zog the Dog. He was genuinely a quantum hound. Eh? Yeah, he we. Was he was. Um, he was always astral traveling in his head. Leonard, I see you, man. Yeah, Zog, Leonard, and he goes way back at the jazz farm, Les, and he knows he's grown up with Zog as well. Indigo girl, she's a dog person of note. So yeah, it's been a, a sad day. There's Amy. Uh, Amy took the brunt of the tears this morning. Amy was in the house when I came back, and Myrtle and I died a little bit because it's been a long haul. It was uh, it's like the, long before the Ducker couple. He was five years old when the Ducker couple came along. You yeah. Know? He's seen it all. Oh, he's been there right from the beginning, seeing the challenge and rolling his fucking eyes in his head as. We yeah. go down the road, you know. Yeah. So anyway, he's he's off to interstellar <coughs> planetary. For travelling. He's now another sentient <laughs> being, and he's gone back to the stars. So good on you, matey. Nice one, thanks, Control. Glad to have known you. Yeah, no, he's a very super Glad cool dog. Um, the only thing super is, you should go travelling through wormholes all day. You could see, you could go into another dimension altogether, and then at two in the morning, you'd tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I'll, I'll tell you that dog has done more trips than all of us put together, probably. He's had, he's yes. had pretty much every entheogen there is yeah. over the years. A dabble of a thing on his tongue of ayahuasca, some pad Pedro. He was on oil. Well, all the dogs are on oil, just, yeah. just to keep him right. Yeah. You know? yeah. And one of the things I'm going to miss most about the parties here at the jazz song, sometimes the parties get casual, it gets a bit late in the party. Okay. The hippie starts okay. saying, let it his burro voice roll, drop a bit low. <laughs> <laughs> and then Zog would always gently come and attend to it. And <laughs> goes the burro voice. So. Yeah, no, he was miss that, bubble. very gentle like that. He was really good at scaling food. He was oh, like he a was ninja. He was amazing. <laughs> ninja on the he food. He the best kisses and cuddles as well. And now uh, there's Ruan. Uh, Ruan, we're sorry for your loss this week, mate. You got another paradigm shift. There's, there's a lot of death and change and regeneration and winter, and it's all kind of. Yeah. And you know what? The the, the vet, at, an ordinary country vet, said they euthanized 13 dogs last week because oh, wow. as soon as it gets cold, dogs know. And they think to them. They th say they think to themselves, "Oh fuck, I'm not going to go through this again. another winter, am I?" Yeah. Kind of, they, they did 13 last week, and wow. I've, Zog was at that vet for his six week injections. You know, he's lived there, yeah, and, they, they've known and I from cried. One. I came out of the do it room, yes, into the main jaw, and I had tears in my eyes. And Claire went, I'm so sorry, man, yeah. but she's done 13 last week, so they've still got compassion for it. Was you know, it was a cool little interaction. <coughs> Grown man, 62, 60 years old, crying in the car on the way home, going, fuck, 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 mortality. <laughs> no, it's been a very tearful day. It's been, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll, it's, it, it's been a pleasure to know him, and we've got big balls down there, and he's cool. We will, we'll live to fight another day, but it's a bit of a shocker today. Anyway, about yeah. weed. About yeah. weed, back to weed. <laughs> back to weed. So, guys, as we say goodbye to an OG. Amazing, by the way. Mm. The dab is amazing. 
Quite speedy, yeah. I'm Very sweating. Nice, uh... <laughs> Fucking sweating on that dub. I'm just going like this now. I'm thinking, what the fuck have I got underneath this? <laughs> oh, I know what I've got underneath this because I'm also going to have to take it off. That's when we talk, start talking about the t-shirts later. So, uh, guys, before we start getting into the meat of the show, uh, this week's poll: Are knock dogs bad guys? All dogs. <laughs> 